All right, so facts. Right. We're talking about an alive sorcery versus um versus a work yeah. tamari, correct? Yep. Yeah. All right, so live sorcery versus work tamari. Um, they would have the knowledge. They would have inverse standard battle assumptions apply, correct? Yeah. Okay. Um, is there any specific uh location that you would like that you think would be advantageous? Um. Uh, let's see. You just want to say they fight mm. in like um destroyed leaf village. Um, they can just fight in a in what? field, a large yeah. field, no objects around. That's fine. Okay, faxed. What's your scaling? Wait, faxed. First of all, um, mm. you you agree that like um Tamari and Conqueror are relative, right? Um. Yeah, 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 they are relative. Okay, that's perfect. Because uh, Conqueror speed blitzes Saucery multiple times. Alright, um, can you send scans of him speed blitzing? Yeah. Are, are you not aware of, like, um, that the Conqueror fights Saucery? Yeah, but I don't see a speed blitz. More like they're relative with Saucery on top the whole time. No, I would I would vehemently disagree. If you look in scans chat, right? We see that, like, mm -hmm. um, after Omui cuts these cords... Saucery mm -hmm. then gets like um, Conqueror grabs onto his strings and then pulls mm -hmm. Saucery, and Saucery doesn't even know what's happening until mm -hmm. he's already falling. So that would be like indicative of a speed blitz. He didn't expect it though. He didn't think um, Conqueror could do that. He wasn't. No, no, no. There's two sets okay. of reactions, right? One, mm -hmm. there's Saucery noticing that his strings have been attached to, right? That's what the mm -hmm. question mark in the explanation point is. Okay. Whenever mm -hmm. Saucery actually yanks. Or whenever Conqueror actually yanks on the cords and Saucery falls down, that is when Saucery is reacting, right? Okay. So he comes into understanding of what's happening, mm -hmm. and Conqueror is still able to pull him downward, and um, mm -hmm. like Saucery isn't able to comprehend what's happening. Okay, and that's um, later on we see that they're actually able to scrap. I can get the scan if you want. No, they're able to After scrap via they're... puppets, right? That's fine. Yeah, why don't puppets scale? Okay, because they would be farther away, so you could therefore, like, um, you therefore have a larger reaction time. We see this in Boruto specifically, right? Um, S Sarada fights a puppet mm -hmm. user who can't mm -hmm. keep up with her in hand-to-hand -hand at a close range, but whenever he's able mm -hmm. to observe from a long range away, he's able to, like, keep up with her movements. And he even, like, speed blitz her entirely. So we would just say that puppet users are, like, um... Can you send better... that scan? Okay, I can just send you that entire fight. Uh, sorry to tune in these names. Sarada versus Tarwi. That was his name. Or was it Araya? No, it was Araya. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he like. <laughs> I'll send you the first time stamp because he's like, he's able to completely and utterly finesse the fuck out of her. Mm -hmm. Um, let me let me post both because I did also just have like um. I, I did also just have another scan of Conqueror fucking blitzing right, so let's discuss that and then we'll go on to the puppet user point. If Wait, that's okay with you? Well, um, we'll just... in the scan. Are you in okay the with skin... that? Um, yeah, we can talk about this first, and then we can go to the puppet thing you brought up. Okay. Uh, okay, um, so then, what, what, what can this, you have? Okay, in the scan, Psy, like, blitzes behind them and smacks them into the air, and they fall inside the trap. That's not speed blitzing. Okay, well, wait, I I'm not trying to claim that, like, um, Conqueror is of size, um... Or the Conqueror mm -hmm. just, like, scales to Sire or anything. What I'm trying mm -hmm. to do here, what, I think it'd be better if you, instead of strawmanning my argument, you let me explain the argument thoroughly, not just okay. presume my argument explain based it. off of the scan, right? I have a so, problem with the whole argument first. Okay. Can I bring it up? Oh, well, I haven't not, laid out my argument. Not the yet. scan you sent, but... Okay, just lay it out then. Okay, well, Conqueror, right? Conqueror observes this attack that... Or observes, like, a size plan to just beat them into the ground, right? 
even though they mm-hmm. were not at all able to comprehend what happened to Sai. In fact, the first note mm-hmm. of comprehension that they have in reference to their fight or getting like dookied on by Sai is whenever they've been sent flying through the air. Sorcery just understands what's happening as he falls into the Iron Maiden. And then um, Dater also doesn't understand what's happening until he's fully in the Iron Maiden and being pierced by Omui's sword, right? So even though um, Conqueror is not the one performing the feat that like uh, speed blitz them, right? He still mm-hmm. shows re- um, greater reaction and perception speed than they show at all during this in- exchange. So while he's not the one performing the feat, right? He shows greater re- feet within the exchange than they do. Okay. Um, is that it? Yes, that that's the argument okay. I'm sitting for. I'm just going to bring something up. Well, it would involve my speed scaling. I'd have to bring it up. So, I just argue saw, or Conqueror got stronger from five Kage summit um, from war, and this sorcery is nerfed. You, right? you, just, you just wholly claimed that like Tamari scaled to Conqueror. You yeah, no in five Kage summit, I no, was talking about. I no, recorded. I was talking about five Kage summit. Okay, so then that's yeah, an I know. ambiguity fallacy, because... right? You're making a claim, and then whenever mm-hmm. like, you're agreeing to a claim, and then whenever you like go back and, and it becomes disadvantageous to you, you then try and say, "Oh, it's only under these conditions." No. You should have stated that's that. Not... Co- no, you should have stated that caveat originally. I will not allow okay. you to backtrack on the Why won't you that allow me? Conceded. I said they're um, equal, and I was talking about five Kage Summit because that's the only feat where they show they're equal. Okay, then just prove that. Conqueror that's you just okay. misinterpreting that, what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 I'll steal okay. Manu, right? I'll steal Manu mm-hmm. and say that you should be allowed to do this, right? I'll, okay. I'll allow you to backtrack on your concession of mm-hmm. these grounds. And then I'll say prove that Conqueror got stronger between the five okay. Kage Summit and between, um, mm-hmm. and, and between the War Arc. Just prove that. Okay. Because uh, what is right. the extent of time between the the summit and the war arc? Uh, I don't not remember. I don't remember how long it was, but I'll just it's show you days. why you should have gone stronger. Okay, but, yeah, you can I, still please, train. Uh, please, please, Dayton. um, yeah, please give this to me. Give me reason right. for why he would be like abundant. So stronger. you know, are you using? Let me just ask. Um, are you using the feat where they all launched their attack at the same time and hit at the same time? Tamari, oh, yeah. Gara. Darley, is that what you're using? Yeah, they all like to say, it, but... say that they're relative. Well, no, I was just asking you. I, I don't have any basis for it. You just blindly agreed to it. Okay, well, that's what I'm saying. Um, uh-huh. let's see. I'll show you why um this conqueror is stronger than the only time they show or uh, that they're relative. Or from five Kage summit. Where's the sand? Uh, four, six, and four. Oh, I hate, I feel bad for anybody who has to watch this recording. Because, no, nah, let me say it's because I'm stopped up. Um, in this scan, Gara's attack goes at the same speed. And then, okay, so... Okay, so you're trying to say that Gara scales to conquer and Tamari, that's fine. Yeah, and then Sasuke should scale above him off of why? the statement that he's the strongest Kazekage. Okay, why Why would that f- therefore mean that he has speed relative to the rest of the Kazekage? Because um, he's the strongest, and strongest means overall. No, do you want me to get the data book statement that elaborates on what this means? Sure. Okay. Are you talking about the... I think I know what you're talking about. Um, is it this? Because it's very specific in what it means. Is it that data book statement? Yes. Perfect. Okay. So how does that oh, yeah, show so it's, that it's, it's not... specifically talking about how the mm-hmm. iron sand was like this potent and great thing that made him the strongest of the Kazekage. Mm-hmm. Right? So, Mm -hmm. I'm again going to ask you, given the idea that we're talking about the Iron Sand has a great strength, and we know Mm -hmm. that Sakura was like, Sakura had great feats in in punching the Iron Sand, like Saucery and Mm -hmm. Shio were impressed, so I'm again going to ask you, for what reason does the the strength in this context, being the strongest of the Kazekage, therefore mean that he is the fastest of the Kazekage? Okay, sure. Um... 
I'm just going to show you that um, strength means overall, and in this context, it does as well. So let me start with um, multiple examples in Naruto where strength means overall. Let me get the scans for you. Um, there is it. Here, talking about overall strength. Um, uh, can you prove that? Or, or, okay. Yeah, because... Actually, actually, actually. So... I'll just ask for, like, a, a causation instead of correlation, right? Hashirama says that Jubito is stronger than mm -hmm. him, right? But mm -hmm. that can be taken in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't even need to be physical strength. You could simply say that, like, he's referencing um, the mysterious ways that Six Paths said Jutsu make Jubito immune to, like, um, ninjutsu, right? What? This is as soon as he came out of, uh, um, out of the... Okay, Whatever then it could, it could simply be thing. his chakra amount. Yeah. If you're claiming okay, that it's as soon sure. as he, Okay, so then it's his chakra amount. Then, it has nothing to do with mm -hmm. the speed. Thank you. No, that would be chakra is overall. Like, chakra would correlate to AP and speed, right? No, it wouldn't. Yeah. Why not? Due to the fact that chakra control is a variable that would mean if you have poor chakra control, right? You wouldn't be able to mm -hmm. use it to amp your speed. And even then, I could just argue that, like, um, they're not amping their speed in using chakra, right? Hold on. I'm going to get the context to this scan, actually. Let me make sure I'm right. Because I'm pretty sure he said it. You because... know what? I could even steel man you, right? Mm -hmm. I could steel man you and say Hashirama's talking about strength, er, physical power, and speed, right? Um, well, why is sorcery? Yeah. yeah. Why is sorcery referencing strength within the same vein? Okay, I'm showing you multiple examples, and I'll give you a definition of strength as okay, well. Okay, why is sorcery referencing them in the same vein? I'm going to show you why. Well, hold on. Um, you know what? Actually, right? I'll steal strong, menu okay. again. No, I'll steal menu again and say that, like, um, say that the third Kazekage is, like, on par with Rasa and speed, right? Because that would be all that it pertains to, right? So prove that Rasa scales to Gara. Hold on. I never said that he scales only. I'm saying he's actually far above them. Let me get uh, the scan. Where okay, they say so... he's actually far greater than them. Okay, if I just, like, retract my Steel Man and argue it's a different way, can you, like, not make us go get the scan? Because Jaja has to go soon. Wait, say it again? Never mind. Continue, Fax. No, I'm not on a time limit. I just want y'all not to take long. But I'm not, I don't have to like, leave soon. I can listen if it's, like, an oh, hour. Oh, I, be I was being aggressive because I thought we were on a time limit. No. Y'all really talking about a debate in Outer Sanctum? That's crazy. Okay, um, here it is. Mm, scans. Okay, um, Sandai, Sandai May, whatever, was far, or was by far the strongest Kaze Kage of them all. Okay, what, what qualitates Implying by far? Implying that by far, okay. What qualitates by far, faxed? Okay, let's say, um, how do I put this? And you're going to have to prove that this is what's second. referenced in the context of the statement. So just what keep that mean? in mind. The correct answer is there is no qualitation that is by far. You would have no knowledge of this, right? That's what you should be saying. I'm pinning you into a corner. So what, like, uh, what qualitates being something being by far above? Not understanding you. Can you talk? Or... No, you... I don't understand. I don't understand the word there. Uh, how fast is by far? You're saying by a great um, amount. By a how great amount. That? What there does you that go. Look like? Um, it's fast enough to not be relative. Okay, so it's just an unquantified. So that I'm just saying okay. they wouldn't so, be relative. So They'd fast. be, a, so be above you relative. That it's just an unquantifiable difference. Mm. Okay. It's still okay, a large it. amount. Okay. So then, it's still so then, a large amount. I okay. just told you that. So then the third we don't have an exact is, number. All right, so then the third Kazekage is just unquantifiably faster than Rasa. That's fine, right? I, I, will show you, I just... Oh, no, I, no, I never you, said okay, that. I'm not, I'm not agreeing to that. Right? Oh, 
I, that you cut you me say. off. What? Okay, no, continue. let me finish talking. There you continue. go. Okay. Okay, by a great amount. Let's. Okay, we can't find an exact number. Actually, we can lowball it. Let me just get the definition for you. Facts. What? Uh, I'll ask you to stop cropping your skin so small, please. They're just cropped oh. very, very small. So just crop yeah. it to very what suspicious. I'm talking. I can. Yeah. Do so like ne thing. next time you send scans, uh, can you like at least make them like bigger to show sure. more context, please? All right, thank you. You want the scan of grade or amount or five bar or no? I, I understand. Far? I understand what it means, okay. right? But like just in case, so like. Because I already so have it get brought up. cropped. Okay. I guess. Um. Anyways. Okay, so, so you're going to give quantification and then support that quantification? Or can we just move on? And I'm just going to low An unquantifiable, like, difference. Okay. Um. Let me make it clear that, you know, if if it's a great amount, then they wouldn't be relative, right? Oh He'd be ab massively above. That's can fine, you answer the but question? you could only okay. ever justify okay. it an unquantifiable difference. Uh, okay, that's fine. As long as okay. you know so it's, it's an unquantifiable they're not relative. Difference. That's fine. All right, so okay. then we're going to go back, right? We're going to go to the like, – because mm -hmm. this your only line of scaling would therefore be Rasa. So we're going to go. We're going to mm -hmm. say, okay, well, Rasa stated gold has a um, – this is like an off-brand bootleg ass. I'm going to grab, like, um, the data book statement is translated by um, Emotional Rockfish. Um, sure. Okay. So, it, it's directly stated, right? Uh-huh. That what, um, what his gold dust imperial funeral does is that it slows down enemies using the heavy gold dust, especially when mixed in with a sand jutsu user sand, which can completely uh -huh. prevent movement, right? So, you understand uh -huh. that Rasa did this to Gara at the beginning of their fight, correct? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So then Gara Wait. was nerfed oh, yeah. to an unquantifiable mm -hmm. amount during their fight. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you understand that Gara still speed blitzes Rasa during their fight. Speed blitzes. Can you show me him speed blitzing? Yes, I will right now. Are you talking about like when he, when um, he Rasa lifted up his sand and Gara grabbed him? No, it's not what I'm talking about. Okay then. See if Viz would like to cooperate this morning or this e afternoon. It's not evening yet. Oh, are you talking about this? Let me... Well, it happens like twice in a very similar fashion, so I'd like to get the scan myself. Yeah, that that was what that was what succeeded what just happened, uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. So Gara like grabs the Raikage. <laughs> um Gara grabs the Raikage, Rasa, mm -hmm. and um uh what is that? That's Gangetsu, right? He grabs the Raikage, Rasa and Gangetsu. Like they all get blitzed mm -hmm. by a, a sand that is so heavy, Gara shouldn't be able to move it, right? So this is a heavily mm -hmm. nerfed Gara. And he still speed blitzes Rasa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, I wasn't okay, even so gonna... the, so I'm just Gara saying Third Kaze Kage would scale above Gara off of the statement. No, it he wouldn't. Why? Because the time of Not Raza. Okay. Say Raza. Okay. Oh uh, well it's shown, right? 
Um, uh-huh. All right. So the statement is the greatest Kazakage, uh-huh. the greatest Kazakage of all, right? None of these uh-huh. statements apply to War Art Gara. They only mm. apply to Kazakage Rescue Art Gara. Wait, why would Kazakage Rescue because, okay. be weaker than work when he's in a Kage off or Kazakage mm-hmm. office, not training or anything? Okay, well, it's directly stated that like um, the Gara with mm-hmm. Shikaku is weaker than the Gara that we see in the War Arc, and then Rossi okay. goes on to like say, um, you've far or you've long surpassed me, right? He says the sand mm-hmm. arms are much stronger than they used to be. Whenever he used to be like a Jinchuriki. Yeah, wait. Send me the scan. You literally posted it. Of Raza not even, saying. Not even his sand I arm. posted it. You posted it. Oh, there it is. His sand arms are much, are much stronger than they used to be. Yeah, Kid Gara. That's the only time he knew Gara. Yeah, that's, or that's fine. the latest Gara. Kid Gara, yeah. Okay, Not cause it Kage okay, rescue. That's Gara. fine, right? All I'm saying mm-hmm. is, right? Due to the fact that Gara would have supremely better feats, Gara must be stronger than whenever he was the Kazekage. Why? Because he has better feats? Yes. Um, okay. Let's see these. What are the feats? Is he it the blitz- Raza okay. feat? He blitzes the Raikage, Rasa, and mm-hmm. Gengetsu. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. Hold on. Yeah. And, and you've already conceded to the idea that he blitzed the three of them. I know he blitzed the three of them. Uh, I'm just trying to find uh, the why Kazekage rescue or Kazekage rescue art gar scans. Okay, do you think Konkuro can keep up with the third Raikage? Third Raikage? I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, well I'll just do this line of scaling, right? So you stated that Conqueror got stronger. Conqueror has to get mm-hmm. stronger to be able to like speed blitz Saucery, right? Mm-hmm. And, and that sauce originally Conqueror was below Saucery. I would just say mm-hmm. that like um Gara got stronger at a similar rate, if not a, a, a better rate, right? Because we see better feats from him, and we know that there are he... similar situations off screen, right? There's an there's an okay. abundance of things that yeah. I could say, and like just shit out to say this, right? But in the end. There is no tie linking any Kazekage or any third Kazekage statements to War Art Gar mm-hmm. at all. Hold on. Do you have the statement? Does Ross ever say Gar surpassed him? Can yes, I see the scan? He says it. He says it. Um. Because I don't see that. Yeah, I didn't post it. I can post it right now. Yeah. It's like whenever Ross is getting sealed. He says, you long surpassed me. You surpassed me long ago. I leave the village mm-hmm. to you, Gara. Okay. Um, I'll just say, I'm not sure what to think of the statement. Because I'd matter, argue cause alive, Ross to... is stronger. But... Uh, okay, I would just say that due to the power of these people, right? Mm-hmm. That their Edo Tensei would be closely relative to their alive state. Hold on. Um, I guess then... Okay, hold on. Let me just get the scan. It, okay, so you can see that Give the Edo Tensei are closely no, relative I'm to getting their alive the, states. No, I'm getting the scan to show you something and why a live Raza should be above anyways. Uh, uh, okay, so are you going to... Okay, so you're going to give contention to the idea. That's fine. Yeah, okay. Um, hold on, give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna need more than just that. I can't... I'm on PC and I can barely read that.
Okay. Um, hold on. I'm gonna read your data book statement because this scan might be irrelevant. Which data book statement? The one you sent for um Raza. Is this does this sand like Neg Shukaku sand? Um, it's never shown. It's implied to have like um uh, it said when this sh when Shikaku rampaged, the Jutsu would subdue it, which would imply that like um yeah, Rasa scales above Shikaku. Who Gara is um equal to from the no, scan? No, Gara's not equals with Shikaku. Um, why is that? No, he says that's the power of Shikaku, right? He's talking about the ability. He's not saying that Gara is equal in power to Shikaku. That's a disingenuous What's the ability? Use of this What's the ability? Okay, why don't you give What's us the, the chapter ability? number? I don't that's, even that's remember. I took this. I got the scan from someone else. I don't know what chapter okay, it is. Okay. Yep. So I, I'll literally give it to you because it's not even. Oh my god, that's not even regarding Gara. That's regarding Shikak or um Rasa. That's so out of context and disingenuous. Gengetsu is um, literally talking about how Rasa is... Wait, Gengetsu is talking about how Rasa is mm. using playing mm. possum jutsu. I'm looking at trying to find the chapter right now. Um, not it. It's 546. Mm. It is. Oh, okay. I'm already on it. I've then. already posted it. Mm, that's a lot of sand, so... This is Shikaku's one tail power. Okay, so this is either Gangetsu, right? Uh, this is either Gangetsu speaking of what Ross is doing with the gold dust, or Rasa speaking on Gara flooding the sea, uh, like flooding the land with sand. And he's specifically talking about how this is an ability of Shikaku. This is not the power of Shikaku. As in strength. Okay, my bad. I didn't know about that. Mm. Okay, so what further refutation do you have? Alright, let me look for a scan. Hold on. I'm sorry for getting mad about that one. I thought you were like purposefully using that in a bad way. And I got upsetty spaghetti. I apologize. It's alright. Mm -hmm. Where's the scan? If you say upsetty spaghetti again, I'm gonna pop you. Why, why is Kakarot telling me to get in here? What? Oh, oh, okay. Um, Kakarot, I took a nasal decongestant because I've been having a large congestion issues recently. I was not like <laughs> like snorting lines on my computer. Jaw jaw. It was right. so weird. During that um, sub arc, like, Naruto just had long bangs on the side of his head. Or he had, like, his hair, like, grew out. He had little rat tails on the side. I thought that shit was weird. Hold on. Why Hold is on. Veliko server muted? Um, let me see these scans. Okay.
um, all these scans you said happen in chapter 546, right? Um, should be, okay, so Gara versus Rasa is 546 to 548. Besides the earlier ones that I sent, which I cannot, unfortunately, give you a chapter number. I cannot give you a chapter number on Sorcery versus Conqueror. I do not recall. Sarada versus Araya. Scans... Sarada versus Araya is um, Boruto. Oh, episode. I know about that. I'm asking for the okay. Gara scans. Okay, this looks weird. It just looks like he's catching them off guard. That's the thing. Um, Maybe Gara's where? catching the... And the... Where he's... um. With the sand arms the in the sand. Yeah. Okay, you very specifically conceded to that. Yeah, like, okay. I vocally had you My say bad. that you conceded to them getting speed boots. Okay. Looks like they're off guard, but okay. Um. Okay, I'll just give you other scans. Where Gar, or not Gar, Raza still reacts. Is this on it? Okay, uh, that would just mean that, I like, just, um, okay, uh, so that would just mean that, um, or go for it, actually. Um, where is it? There it is. Mm, Gar launched an attack. I'll just get I, I, a I'm presuming clear the scan. Like yeah, I'm presuming he attacked and uh, launched an attack from like a distance. Yeah, he did. Okay, so then I would just so, say that like um, no, I would just say that Rasa can react to Gara whenever he has like a, a large amount of distance, like helping him. Mm -hmm. And this would only be like um, that would only be like a, a weighed down nerfed Gara, or his sand would be weighed down and nerfed. Wait, this one isn't weighed down. He weighed him down in that attack. I'm pretty sure. Wait, hold on. I need okay, to. Okay, so this. then it's. Are you talking yeah. about the initial attack that also comes from a yeah, distance? Yeah, the initial attack. Okay, so in the very initial attack, right? Oh my. Mm -hmm. Facts, don't just cut it. Like, I already posted this. You can just go back. I think I already posted it. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I will post the yeah, full did. thing of this. We can just go back and reference. I did post it, right? So, mm -hmm. from a long ways away, Gara uses a large amount of sand. Mm -hmm. And, of course, it gets caught, right? Not mm -hmm. to mention... That Gara sand from his gore right. is faster than his regular sand, right? So that would just mean that Rasa scales to an unnerfed Gara from a long mm -hmm. distance where he has ample time to react. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm trying to. But that would oh. still be I'm... inconsistent because you admitted that an even heavier nerfed Gara was able to catch him lacking from a short distance. And you've already you've already conceded to that notion, right? I know. I conceded on the fact that he blitzed them. I never said that he's faster than all of them, though. Uh. Unless I did. Did I? Uh, I'm pretty sure the exact wording was like... I don't think I did. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the exact wording was like, um, he speed blitzed the Raikage. Um, mm -hmm. uh, speed blitzed the Raikage, Rasa, and Gengetsu. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I forgot Rasa's name. Yeah. Sorry, are we gonna argue like the sub point of whether they were on guard or off guard and like what that means no, in reference no, to being speed blitzed? Okay. No, uh, so then, the so then you're trying to claim that like um, Rasa therefore is faster than Gara but got speed blitzed? No, that's not the point. I was gonna. I'm trying to find other scans where he reacts. Might be an inconsistency, or to argue it's inconsistent. Um. Is this after his sand got weighed down? And literally everything happens after his sand got weighed down until Rasa puts his sand up. This is an incredibly short fight. Oh, that's... Um, okay, chapter 546. It's him. Hmm. Okay, um, I'll just give you the Gars. Um, do you think they're relative, or do you think they're, like, there's a big difference between them? No, I mean, I, I've, and Gara. I've, set, I've shown three unquantifiable nerfs, and you have, like, um, 
So I have like three steps that Gara is above Rasa, mm-hmm. and you have yeah, the third yeah. Kazekage at one step above. Wait, three steps above? Hold on, what? Okay, so as I said, Gord Sand. Mm-hmm. Gord Sand is over, um, like a regular sand, right? Um, I don't know. How I, I literally I think claim- he puts his chakra in it or whatever. Yeah, I already claimed that the Gord Sand was faster than the regular sand, so it's fine. Just because you ignored it, that's fine. And then there's um, gold dust sand after that, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, we already went over how, like, the gold dust sand was so strong and it weighed down Shikaku to the point where it would, like, completely subdue him, right? Mm-hmm. So that's, like, uh, a huge nerf, but we're going to just put it in unquantifiable, right? So mm-hmm. you have Gara with his gourd sand is faster than Gara with regular sand, which is even faster than the gold dust sand that he was able to speed blitz his dad with, right? And you just have the third Kazekage, or I'm going to say TK, at one tier above Rasa. Okay. So, so he would scale to like... Gold dust sand? So, so at best, enough. he would scale to like regular sand um, Gara at best. Mm-hmm. So, so he would still get speed blitzed by like... Actually, so... gold dust... Well, actually, gold dust sand Gara scales above Rasa too. So it would just be he would scale to like gold dust sand Gara. Which is so like, mm-hmm. which would be a, such a weakened Gara that like he would have a Shikaku level nerf to him. Okay, TK greater than regular sand, greater than gold dust sand, TK greater than Rosin. Um, hold on. Um, I guess Gara is faster. Yeah. Okay, it's fine. Um. So, we were talking about... Okay, so you were claiming that Gara. Yeah, okay, okay. yeah. Okay. Was... So you were claiming that Gara and Conqueror got faster, mm-hmm. right? Because you were saying, uh, oh... I said well, Conqueror got faster, yeah. Okay, well, well Conqueror, Gara, and Tamari all scale is similar in the 5 Kagi Summit. So I'm mm-hmm. waiting for you to, like, uh, establish that one got significantly faster by any means. Mm, okay, I'll just say that. In fact, I would just say that, like, um, it, it wouldn't matter, right? Because if I can prove that, um, or actually, I forget what argument I was about to make. Go for it. Um, okay. What was I going to say? Yeah, I was going to say that, um, Conqueror got bodied by a live sorcery, so. That was in the third, Kaze- yeah, Ka- or that was in the Kazekage rescue arc, which was, like, yeah, months okay. before the fa- Five Kage summit. Did Conqueror train? Do you think he trained? If... I mean, if anything, I would say that it's more likely that Conqueror got a great strength amp between the third Kazekage rescue arc, or the Kazekage rescue arc, excuse me, and the five Kage summit, and then held his same strength into the war arc, right? Then the other way around. So I'm going to claim. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, so I'm going to claim that, like, um, seeing as we know that Gara got stronger, right? We know mm-hmm. that Sorcery got stronger. And we know that Tamari mm-hmm. scales to them Wait, at one point. Sorcery got stronger. Or um, excuse me, uh, Conqueror got stronger. Okay. Um, um so Gara and Conqueror both went from under Datura to high above or so, under Sorcery to high above Sorcery, right? Mm-hmm. So it would be consistent that the third member of this trio would also scale to them. Okay. Um. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Actually, I'll just, like, uh, ignore that point because it really was vacuous. Okay. It didn't, it didn't say anything, right? So I'll, I'll just ask again for you to provide some kind of reasoning as to why, like, Gara and Conqueror got stronger between the summit and the war. Oh, okay. Um, I'll just say that they're in a time of war and they're trying to prepare and get stronger before they have to go to war, right? Okay. Can you, Wouldn't can, that make can sense you that you prepare that like before a, war? Wait, can you substantiate that they have, like, an amount of time? To like train I'm not, or get stronger. Yeah, and it, a day is enough to train and get stronger. Can you no? prove that there is a day between the end of the summit and the start of the war? Sure. <laughs> Actually, no, no. Just can you prove that they're training, right? Don't insert your mindset. Just prove that they were training. Okay, so do you not want me to show you the different the days between work and no, that's five Kage summit? Prove that they were training in it. Okay, I told you why it makes sense for them to okay, train. I said, don't insert your mindset. Prove it. Right? You're just throwing around head pain and conjecture. I'm okay, asking you to prove so... your claim. Okay, so one, you see better feats from them all, right? 
and then I told you why it makes sense in that time period that they trained, and then we see that they got stronger. Okay, you can't prove that they got stronger, though. Well, I did. Never, no, we never saw them at max oh power God. in the summit. And, and we don't see You're saying they didn't them. go at max power against Sasuke? You can't prove that, no. Oh my god, I showed you that he has better feats and that there's a time period where they should be preparing and it makes sense for them okay, to prepare. So, I, I literally threw away your it makes sense for them to prepare as conjecture and headcanon, right? I said that that argument should be dismissed on the grounds that you're inserting Why? your mindset into the character. Okay. Hey, seeing as you're inserting you your mindset... Do you want me to show you? Okay, are you going to let me finish my argument? Sure. Okay, on the grounds that you're inserting your mindset into the character, right? Um, mm -hmm. uh, there, uh, if you could say why it would be in character for these specific characters to train, right? And if you mm -hmm. could show that it had any meaningful effect, right? Because even if they mm -hmm. did train, right? I would need you to show, right? This was their top at this point. This is their top at this point. You need to be able to okay. show that there's a quantifiable difference mm -hmm. or a qualitative difference, right? Just saying they okay. did this one feat and then they have better feats later, right? Maybe two mm -hmm. weeks later. That's fine. Like, mm -hmm. uh, there's still no reason. There's no, there's no quantification. I need that. So you want me to show you why it would be in character for them to train and the quantification? I literally said even if they do train, right? Even if mm -hmm. you prove yeah. that they do and train. And the quantification, be... okay. yeah. Okay. Then I'm asking that you show me what their max was in the summit and why that mm -hmm. is a lower max than their max in the war. Okay. Don't... Okay. Um, in fact, no, I'll just steal man you and say that like, oh my god, I don't know why I let this point drag on for so long. What? Is Tamari just like what? speed blitzes the third Raikage. Um, so we're gonna drop this whole Tamari's equal thing? Okay, whatever. No, 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 I'll just steal man you and say that like, um, she doesn't move at the same rate as them or that, um, uh, th like currently I'll just like, um, say, okay. okay, well, yeah, sure, right? Um, Tamari wouldn't scale specific or they... Uh, whatever I was trying to claim, right? I, I said I'll just steal Manu, uh, say that uh, it is different ones, right? Tamari, like, I'm with sure. her, um, oh, let me go grab the scan. Because Tamari outright speed blitzes, right? She's part of a combination mm -hmm. Jutsu, but each member of the common, or I I'll, like, um, it it's up in the air as to whether or not it was a combination Jutsu, right? But um, yeah, each part of the combination Jutsu would still have to be, like, it, it, it relative speed, right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So um, then she's I'm able to get... speed blitz the third Raikage. Speed blitz the third Raikage. Hold on. Um, is it okay if I send you a video to sh make it clear, make the scan more cl or clear, to show you what happened? Well, I mean, it's, it's only one panel. Would you accept that, or do you want me uh, to show you why it uh, makes sense? It wouldn't matter, would it? I've watched the anime it and it definitely. Okay, I've watched the anime and there's no difference, right? And the third Kazakage is... gets like. Uh, absorbs the attack and still doesn't move out of the way both times or either or it can't move out of the way both ways right all i'm trying to claim is that like um it, her speed is like above that of the third or raikage i'm gonna show you why he let them hit him let them. or he let them yeah well okay Wait, he no, knew I, they were gonna attack he knew no, like I'm, before okay, that i'm very he's aware it. right he's not in mm -hmm. control of his actions he doesn't get to decide whether or not he, like, dodges or gets hit by it, right? Okay. He's being controlled by the Edo Tensei Jutsu. I've watched this very video. I know exactly what's going on. He's being controlled right. by the Edo Tensei Jutsu, right? And he just isn't mm -hmm. able to dodge or avoid. So, Tamari speaks Okay, people... Him. You know, they let people have some control, and sometimes they, they don't go all out. You know that, right? That is not what happens. You would need to prove that. Okay, to my I'm going go to end the talk no, no, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna repeat, right? To my recollection, right? They fight to the best mm -hmm. of their ability and how their body would usually mm -hmm. fight, right? With their usual plans, mm -hmm. their usual strategy, their usual instincts, right? So the third, the third Raikage, right his body just couldn't move. I'll just get you the scan. Then you, okay. Um, chapter... In fact, his Last body video. finally reacts, like, right before he, like, gets hit. Like, his eyes go wide, and his body finally has a reaction to what's happening. Uh, uh, do you have any, like, um, do you have any refutation of my analysis of the scene? Yeah, the I'm trying to get you a scan of where people hold back, um, 
f- from fighting pretty much. They don't do anything, and then their okay. body like I- I'm claiming Kabuto currently, tries gaining wait, more control. I'm claiming currently, right? Mm-hmm. Actually, I'll steal Manu and say that is true, right? That people do this, yeah. But we've consistently seen that this happens whenever there's some emotional moment or some tug on their heartstrings that allows them to like no. uh, fight the Edo Tensei for a short amount of time. We saw no, this literally. Not even wait, 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 wait. I, I, you're not. I'm. I'm not done, right? We saw this specifically with Sorcery, right? He undid the Edo Tensei Jutsu because he had like a heartfelt moment with Conqueror. We see it again mm-hmm. with Sai's brother, right? Sai's brother gets a heartfelt moment with Sai, and then the Edo Tensei Jutsu comes undone, right? So I've shown two cases mm-hmm. in which the point of which, like, um, the Edo Tensei coming undone or them, like, having a strong will against it, right, um, is simply because of, like, an emotional moment. This is not the case for the Raikage. Okay, I'm going to show you where they don't even need an emotional moment. So you think they're automatically always supposed to attack? Like, they're going to always attack? That's not what I claimed. Okay. Um, what do you think? So you think I already, I already that's made my what I heard you say. On what the Edo Tensei does, right? Um, mm-hmm. they, they fill out the order in mm-hmm. the manner that their body is used to it, right? So if it's to annihilate the third platoon of the Allied Shinobi forces, then the Raikage mm-hmm. is going to do so in a manner that fits his fighting style and fits his body's instincts, right? Okay. We see that um, like even um, Shikaku knows this. And claims it about Asuma and says, this is why Ino Shikacho is the only people who can, like, um, or the best people equipped to take down Asuma. Because they would know mm-hmm. his fighting style and the way that his body moves. Hold on, I'm just going to get So there's my claim and then there's my supporting where evidence. People can stand around. And even though they're supposed to be fighting and they just stand around not doing anything. Well, when is this? And then Kabuto gains more control. Look, when is with this? Nagato... Itachi was fighting, he was standing still, then he says, my body is moving on my own. Um, please tell me that you know the context regarding that. Yeah, I'm looking at the fight. Okay, okay. what's okay. the context? So then I'm going to tell oh, you I... the context, right? Mm-hmm. So they were simply, like, wandering mm-hmm. on their own, and then Kabuto mm-hmm. activates the Edo Tensei mind control, right? Because they mm-hmm. were just aimlessly wandering, right? Or they were they were told, get to this place, right? Mm-hmm. Something of the like. Kabuto yeah. finally activates the Edo Tensei mind control, and they finally mm-hmm. start fighting Naruto and B. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay, he activates it here. Oh, my God. And then, let me send the scan. But we already know I that know. the third Raikage was fighting, so that's not a that's not a use case that would be useful. I'm showing so you where... You oh, my claim. God. I'm showing you an instance where they don't have... Like, they're not automatically fighting. They can stand still. Okay, and I've told you why the reasoning for this instance, and I've also told you that this wouldn't apply to the third Raikage. So I'm going to ask Is you to either because, provide so you're relevant saying because refutation. He, no, no, I'm going to ask you to either provide relevant refutation or concede the mm-hmm. point. Okay, I'll just get you a scan for the third Raikage then. Uh, 552. Okay, the third Raikage was already told to like attack, right? I'm he was already looking attacking at the, the Allied Shinobi forces. Let me look at the chapter. No, that's fine. I'm just telling you what is so. After this point, after this point, can you guys move on some speed? Because I think you guys are used speed enough, so after this point, can you guys wrap that up, please? Thank you. Yeah, we'll go on to, like, AP and hacks after this. Hold on, what does... Wasn't she amped by other Winstall users anyways? Okay, I already said that in order for a combination jutsu to have a certain speed, each mm-hmm. member of the jutsu would have to have that same speed. And you conceded to that point. I have it recorded. Um, okay. I guess. I probably said yeah or something. Whatever. Um, okay. Let's say tomorrow's faster than the um, third Raikage. What about it? Okay, so then... Let's... So then she's faster than the third Raikage who would scale above Saucer. Mm-hmm. Why does he scale above Saucer? Because he scales relative to Rasa. Why does he scale relative to Rasa? Because he shows a better feat of reacting to Gara than Rasa does. And I just showed you the third Kazekage being above Rasa. Didn't I? Okay, so then they're on like a similar playing field. That's fine. But uh, I showed just, you him no, being just, faster no, than wait. by a great amount. Uh, by a great amount than Rasa? 
yeah, that's just an I showed you the here, by far. Right? But it's okay. greater than so then, the little difference wait, that fine, the third right? eye and the cosmic cog okay, have. Okay, that's fine, facts, right? I'll use this to say her true power should be on the level of um of those like um Conqueror and um uh what Conqueror already... and Gara, right? I'll just go back to this, right? I'll retract Why my steel man. You, wait, steel I'll retract... man. Okay, you can I... retract steel mans? Cha Cha, do you want to explain that to him? What? Jaja, what is a steel man? Uh, a steel man is basically like when you basically, I don't know how to put it in precise words, but it's practically when your opponent is making an argument that you disagree with, but you just like let it fly and still point out why their argument wouldn't work anyways. Um, okay. You can retract steel mans and you can retract like, I don't know, concede in certain points. As long as you don't concede your premise, I guess you're fine. Uh, so. Okay. So you can retract can, or you can retract a steel man, Jaja, correct? Yeah. Okay, it's moving fine. forward, right? Yeah. So I would just say mm -hmm. that, like, I would use this as evidence, along with mm -hmm. the fact that they scaled similar, or they scaled the same at a, at a previous point in time, to say that she would scale relative, if not on par, with her, um, with her, like, equals, right? Or her former equals. So I would okay. use this as, um, like, evidence to say that she should scale the Gara and conquer her. All right. I'm going to retract the Conqueror's faster than a saucer concession thing. Whatever I said. Um, I'm going to say no, that. outright conceded. So, facts. Here's the difference Wait, but you man. just said oh, I can retract it. Jaja just okay. said that. Okay. As long as I, it doesn't I, go against okay. my premise. Okay. So here's the difference between a steel man and a concession, right? <sighs> Jaja stated that you can backtrack concessions. I'll debate him mm -hmm. on that afterwards, right? Because oh backtracking God. an outright concession of a point is different from me saying, I will temporarily grant you this point in order for us to move forward to debate, which is what a steel man is, right? You saying, I will grant this point. I have contention. Here's why it doesn't work even so, right? So, uh, Jaja, would you like to debate right now on why you can't, like, backtrack a concession? Since Nigga, no, what the fuck? What is wrong with you? Well, that's obviously a point of contention. Nigga, okay, argue that with facts, all right? Because all right. he's trying to so use I'll my word, say, but it's your I'll debate. i it violates dialectic structure to, like, um, backtrack a concession unless you shouldn't be able to do it, right? Do you know what Hegelian dialectics is, facts? No. Okay, Hegelian dialectics is the basis on which we debate, right? Mm -hmm. The reason for debate is a garnering of dialectics or forming some sort of synthesis even in a mm -hmm. sport or a competitive nature right so mm -hmm. so you agree um dialectic is like some sort of synthesis between arguments us finding um some sort of truth or um like um compromise in order to like uh, mm -hmm. find st in this case scaling of a character right so mm -hmm. in, in retracting a concession or um going back on your word uh, in the context without like having clearly stated that you have contention, you therefore ruin dialectics and our chance to find a compromise or a synthesis on where a character scales, which is bad for the community as a whole. So, like, I would ask that any sort of judge or any moderator of a debate therefore say that it's not okay to backtrack a concession while a steel man, an outright statement of, I disagree, but it is wrong, but it wouldn't matter due to X, is different due to the fact that it progresses this conversation and we find a synthesis sooner. So I, okay. I would just claim that due to dialectic structure, which is the reason why we debate, mm -hmm. and you have no problem with that. Um, excuse me. Uh, there you go. Um, um, that like it would be okay to backtrack. Um, uh, oh, I just got my my fucking mouse stuck on my around my ankle. It would be okay to backtrack and like um a steel man, but not a concession, right? Do you have any um, argument against that? Yeah, I do. You said something about the judge being able to decide and saying, no, you can't do that. I said that the judge shouldn't be able to do that. Because I Why said it's bad for the, the community. Why do I care about the community? Okay, if, you don't, care, if you don't care about the community, and you don't care about dialectics, or actually, you conceded that you care about dialectics. Ha I stated... I stated that dialectics. That. Okay, no, no. I stated that dialectics and a synthesis are the reason with which you debate. And you said, "Yeah, mm-hmm, right." You when I say to improve, these I'm saying keep going. I don't know okay. why. And that's fine. Well, then we'll start with premise okay. one, right? Um, mm -hmm. Do you um, Hegelian dialectics, right, 
or dialectics mm-hmm. or compromise are the reason mm-hmm. with which we debate, right? Even for sport. Mm-hmm. Do you have knowledge on Hegelian dialectics and or um do you have any argument, right? Um argument for what? For why that is not the reason with which we debate. Um you said okay, say the reason we debate again or why okay, we debate. Give me your reason. Again. Why do you debate? I debate for fun. Okay. So you debate for fun, right? Well, then why do you yeah. debate fiction? Because I like debating fiction and it's fun. Okay, what comes out of debating fiction? Um, enjoyment. Okay. <laughs> you can't just go in a circle. I'm obviously trying to find something deeper, right? Um, so so let's, let's go to the idea of... Oh, like, um... Who was that? It was perfect. That was a perfectly fine answer. What are you t- Your mother. Ah, uh, Spencer serving you. Okay. So, as I was saying, right? So, what what do you have to do in order to debate fiction? Um, know what you're debating, pretty scale much. Scale a character? Learn. Maybe? Yeah, scale, exactly. Okay. Yes. So, you have to scale a character, right? Mm-hmm. In, in the knowledge of scaling, right? You find a lot of arguments that don't quite hit. Is that true? Um, what do you mean by that? Like, are they, they don't are, work? Are, yes, right? Um, yeah, you do. So did did you or did you not like practice debate and like prep with those around you for this debate? Mm-hmm. Yeah. For what reason, right? To find arguments that work, correct? Um uh, not necessarily. Uh, okay. I just practiced um uh to try to predict what you were gonna do. That's what I was doing. Okay. So, do you use bad arguments, or do you hone your arguments against others? Um, yeah, I do. You hone your arguments against others? Yeah. Okay, so then you can see that you debate for synthesis. Thank you. No, I never yes, said that. I don't, hone, no, your, I like okay. winning. Winning okay. is fun. Winning oh is fun. God. That's part of it. Uh, facts. Facts. There you go. Yeah, I've literally trapped you with multiple premises. Oh, my right? God. Jaja, do you have a judgment on the subpoint of dialectic structure? Of whether or not he like debates for dialectics. Sure. Uh, I, sure, I do. Okay. Well, what's your what? What's the judgment so that we can move forward? No, uh, I think Spencer properly proved two facts. Uh, you should be able to like take back a what you call a statement, but not a concession. Okay. Moving on, right? So then we have like um, I- I'm again going to claim. That Tamari, it, it mm-hmm. should be on the level of Conquero and Gara due to the mm-hmm. fact that they have similar feats at one point in time, and mm-hmm. then they all have feats ranging in the same area at a second point in time. I would just say that mm-hmm. they're all still equal, but rather, um, mm-hmm. they don't have the same um, ability to show due to the uh, the instances that they're in, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to bring up the conqueror point because you said puppets or users don't scale to puppets right uh that's not what i said ever or puppet don't scale to user something like that yeah that's, you brought up the sarda thing i brought what up a sub point of sarda right i had mm-hmm. said that like um uh, they're able to fight better from a far distance right but we move yeah. forward um if you want to go back to like because uh, you conceded yeah. that conqueror on one occasion Speed Blitz is sorcery, right? And then we were about to get into the other occasion and whether or not like um battle at a long range would um would scale um would scale the same as like battle at a short range. Uh, okay, would you like yeah. to get back into that? Yes, I want to get back into that. Okay. So then, right? Um uh we'll we'll start with the point of did did you did you watch from the timestamp that I gave? On no, because we were on a point, okay, and then fine. we that's said fine. we that's were fine. gonna that's get fine. on another one. So I want you to look at like um, like uh the twenty five second mark, right? Or have you watched yeah, this fight? Before? Watching, uh, yeah, but I don't even remember it anymore. Okay, so at the twenty five second point, right, we see that Araya is like handling just fine against all of Sarada's like a uh, onslaught, right, I- mm-hmm. in base, and then she goes further as to activate her one Tomoe Sharingan, right. And even then, she's like, like, Araya starts ramping up too. And he, like, starts beating her, right? 
He's like slashing mm-hmm. her arm open and shit. Are you are you fine with those statements, those claims? Um, that he's beating her, yeah. Yeah, he he's like slashing her arm open and he's like Actually, keeping pace, if on. not faster than her. Um. I think they're relative, actually. But okay, sorry, I'll, I'll to, when she statement. has a shine gun, yeah. No, that's fine. I'll go get the statement that like um, that he was faster than she could like ho- keep up with, even though her timing was perfect. Okay. Actually, that's fine. I'm looking okay. at the so video. So then he's like he's faster than her Sharingan self. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So then, he then gets like, he then can't even react and doesn't understand what happened until significantly later. Um, and um, if you look at two twenty five. Um, mm-hmm. and two twenty five. Um, that that may be too late actually. She uses. Do you remember the conclusion of this fight? No. Okay. The conclusion is she speed blitzes him with a lightning ball jutsu, right? Mm-hmm. And then, like, he's like, oh, I'm fucked. And, like, she brings him into the ring, or tries to bring him into the ring. And he's like, nah, I'm straight. I'm good. He, like, actually Hold gets on. fucked up in the ring. Um, I don't see the rest of... Is this cut? Is this fight, like... Not really. Is it, okay, is it um, here's pieces what I'll do, of the right? fight? I'll just show you the scene where, like, um, she speed blitzes him with a jutsu, and you agree that, like, a... Uh, most jutsu scale to like um the user's speed, correct? Um. Uh, I, mm, no, I don't actually. Okay. Uh, what contention do you have with like uh, uh a random like lightning jutsu not scaling to its user? Uh, In fact, I would argue that like um due to what we've seen with Sharingan users, that Sarada would scale above this jutsu regularly. With her, like, uh, amped vision in the Sharingan. Oh, I'm trying to watch this fight right now. Yeah, go to 212. Hold on. I'm watching another video because this one, that one cuts out the fight. No, I'm looking at it right now. Hmm. Wait. Hold on, it's right there. Tell me whenever you're done. That's oh, about a finish. How long is this fight? Like, actually, seven Six, minutes. Seven minutes. That's stupid. This fight did not deserve seven minutes of my time. <laughs> Holy fuck! That's yeah, she so never bad. fights the real one. She just beats the puppet. No, that's fine, because I'll just claim that, um, are you watching, like, the, uh, Sarda vs. Araya Pelia Complete sub Espanol? Uh, no, it's some, I don't even know how to say it. it's a different language. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna show you what happens, right? Um, basically, uh, I'm gonna say go to 338, um, I'm gonna post the specific video, long cut, right? Um, it's as simple as just, like, um... Sarda uses lightning style lightning ball and like it's so bad that he doesn't even notice what happened until like um people start staring at him afterwards. So I would just say that like uh puppet users are are have better reaction speed at long range. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Puppet so, users have better reaction at long range. Um was I gonna bring up something about wait, wait, do you have a refutation of this claim? Um that puppy users are better at long range. Um yeah. I and guess. What, what is your refutation? Um so I was gonna bring up that Hold on, what were we talking about? Okay, so 
What were you talking about involving this point? Why did oh, we bring this okay. up again? So this point was relevant because I was trying to say that like um <laughs> that Conqueror consistently outreacts and is like faster in reaction and perception than Saucer. And then you were trying to say, mm -hmm. okay, well they fight at like long range. And so mm -hmm. I said, well, what well, well, they fight through puppets. So I was just saying that like puppet users are consistently like um like consistently better at longer ranges. Okay. Um, and we know that Saucer is a better puppet user than Conqueror. So this would okay. just like give him a greater advantage than that of Conqueror. That was so the argument he's that, we better. Ongoing, that was ongoing. Okay. I just need to think about it for a second and get my argument together. Wait, so if Saucer is going to start at long range, since he's a puppet user, and Tamari scales to the one... Okay, I'll Did you say Saucer is better than... I'll I want to finish this point, because... Uh, why? Uh, why? Because okay, then we're going to go back to okay. this. So, uh, I have retracted one Steel Man out of my seven in this debate. I, I, okay. I, it's highly unlikely that we're going back. But basically, the reason why I wanted to Steel Man you, right... Or we can just move on to this like sub point, right? Because I have contention of the idea that Saucery actually fights like um, um, on, on even ground with Conqueror, seeing as Conqueror is like fighting Saucery in like in puppet combat uh, to back mm -hmm. up the bomb that Saucery was using as a puppet. So he's backing him up into the Hiruko show, or into the Salamander, so mm -hmm. that he can save the rest of his platoon. Okay. So I would just argue that like just... Conqueror had to, uh, Conqueror had to fight evenly to like maneuver Saucery into this position. Um, you just said that Saucery is a better puppet fighter, though. Did yeah, you know? Yeah, Saucery is a better puppet user than Conqueror, but Conqueror is faster than Saucery. Okay, that's fine. Fa uh, faster than Saucery without a puppet? Is that what you mean? He has faster reaction and perception. Okay. Speeds. And I'm implying that reaction. he has faster combat speed, and he's nerfing himself in order to fight Saucery's puppet, so that they can then put it into the Hiruko show. Why does he have to nerf himself in order to do that? So um, that not trying to kill or position. anything okay. doesn't mean he's not gonna okay. so go all can, out. So that he can that. put it into a position where it can be neutralized without exploding. Because if he were to cut it, then Datoro would just explode it. In fact, well, okay, wait, that doesn't mean he me, was. Excuse me. I was under a misconception that Sai's brother was being controlled by Saucery. That is not the truth. He was. No, he's not. There are no puppet strings not? on him. I swear that's what happened. Hold on. I'm going to go to this. I was reading like 50 times, and it looked like he was controlling. No, there's uh, one point, but it's actually Dater's bomb. Clash of Ambush Squad. Uh, this is the only out. thing that would like... <laughs> give you reason to believe that i'll post it right i'll post it out of context and it'll look like oh saucer's controlling him right with a chakra string no that's data of making him into a clay puppet and it's stated on like the f <laughs> oh my god and then it's in the next like page stated this is just not what happens so you're saying saucer wasn't controlling him no saucer doesn't scale the conqueror at all but what's this point about? Why do you bring up that he wasn't? Now I, I'm confused. Okay, can you tell me why this um clay data because bomb Saucer, thing point okay. is relevant? Because the um, I thought that this was a puppet string, but in fact, Saucery never controlled Sai's brother, and thus Saucery never fights evenly with Conqueror throughout this entire exchange. So you you're just saying it wasn't Sai's brother? Is that I'm what you're saying, saying that I thought Sai's brother was being controlled by Saucery in the Taijutsu mm -hmm. exchange in which he keeps up evenly with Konkuro, but he was not being controlled by Saucery whatsoever. He was. In this scan, look. Uh, in, in what scan, look? And then I sent it. I'll give you the whole thing. Uh, yes, I would very much like the whole context. Uh... I hate these ads. Um, 
and then this happens. It's a. I don't know what happened in the scene actually. I think it was Size Brother because um Sai got like a rage okay, after I know it blew that up. That's Size Brother. That's not what mm -hmm. I'm questioning. I'm okay. questioning whether or not Sorcery is controlling him. Because the only Hero's thing that controlling. would give, okay, the only thing that would give credence to Sai controlling Sorcery's brother is this one panel where Sai is like pulling on strings and then a uh, Sorcery puppet is fighting Sai's brother. Mm -hmm. And even then, right? I will say sure, right? I'll steal menu again, and I'll say sure. Size brothers being controlled by sorcery. We still have the maneuvering mm -hmm. point, right? We can just go back to that at all mm -hmm. points in time, right? Yeah. Where Kakuro is fighting evenly is not to explode the pup, the bomb, and maneuver him into a certain position. That doesn't mean he was holding back. It just means he wasn't doing like he wasn't trying to cut. That doesn't mean he wasn't going full speed. Why would I'm, going okay. slower? Help Why would him. going slower be advantageous? Yeah. Because if he exerts too much force upon Sai's brother, Sai's brother explodes, right? So keeping an even fight with him and pushing him into a certain point with Omui would be a much safer objective or safer way of doing things. Say, say the first part again. Because exerting too much force would explode the bomb, and thus it would be of a greater um, – it would be of great detriment – for him to just like go all out speed blitz and punch him in the mouth to get him into the salamander. Because he would just start exploding and okay, kill the entire um, platoon. Why would him cutting the bomb make your thing explode? It looks like data. It's, it doesn't work like that. I'm not what, sure how the bomb works. Explode. Where him hitting the bomb would explode him or blow him up. <laughs> uh, let's look through and we'll see Dater's bombs exploding. Okay, so he makes a clay puppet saucer, starts controlling, they're fighting. Omui tries attacking, allow, he backs keep, up. Like, wait, wait, you asked me to get a scan, right? Are you just going to keep shocking oh, yeah. me while I'm asking report? how it... No, I'm just telling you what's happening in the scene. Okay. I'm not uh -oh. trying to bring up a new point. I'm just saying that um, he backs up and then Data tries blowing him up. And then um, they trap him into the... Whatever puppet it was. You know what? Actually, no, no. I I'll concede that Saucery, like, I'll just outright concede that Saucery, like, uh, fights, um, fights Conqueror evenly, and I'll just say it's an outlier due to the other two feats. So we have two consistent um, feats of one one thing. What are the other feats? Okay, Sorry, so you, yeah, we have two consistent feats of one thing, and then we have one feat of like the exact opposite, or something that would be um, uh, uh, that could not be repaired, right? So I would just say that like um, that it's just an outlier and inconsistent. That's fine. okay. I'm gonna say that this is a puppet or sorcery that's controlling a puppet, and not the or sorcery that's just um, staying idle. If you could say that. I'm saying this one's a different speed than the sorcery that got blitzed or whatever. Okay. Yeah. You're saying that sorcery... The sorcery is a different speed. Be because Him controlling a puppet is... is um, This sorcery is faster than the one that Conqueror blitzed. Why? Because you showed an instance where the um, when they're controlling a puppet, they're faster. And I'm saying the same That's thing applies to saucer. What what was the point of that scan the then? Claim, okay, the claim that I made was that like a um, uh, whenever whenever a puppet user is controlling a puppet from a long range, right, or from mm -hmm. a range away, they have better perception speed and reaction speed, or, or like an effective reaction speed, but mostly perception, due to being able to like take in and observe the situation. That was always the That's claim. what I'm showing you. That's okay, what I no, showed you. you just That's what I meant. Saucer. That's what I said. No, it's not what you said or what, like maybe it's what you oh meant. My God. It's not what you said. I wanted to make that abundantly clear, right? Okay. So that would just mean that like um like a saucery controlling a puppet, right? Um mm -hmm. or, or controlling this specific puppet possibly. Um mm -hmm. just as like fat or is on par with Conqueror. That's fine. Okay. That would mean like all of the sand or, or all the sand triplets consistently scale somewhere, and then I would just use that as supporting That's... evidence, like I did before. Okay. Can Can you guys move okay, on from so the speed? speed yeah, I want to finish this. I mean, we okay, only whatever. Up. We never got to my the character scaling.
Well, I mean, I just scaled the inverse in relation it. to your speed. And I'm I'm gonna show you scaling. Um. Based off of what? Where, Conqueror got bodied, right? Who should scale to Tamari, and that's a live saucer. A live saucer scales above Conqueror, who scales above um, or scales to Tamari. You already conceded that like Kazekage rescue are uh, Conqueror and Tamari aren't. I was. I said Gara. I said Gara. We were oh, talking about Gara, Gara, not Conqueror. I've already stated that like that Gara is significantly below. The uh Gara. no, no, you're not understanding. You brought up that I said that um Conqueror got stronger. I said Gara got stronger, and I'm talking about Conqueror right now. What is your claim? That okay, um, Saucery scales above Conqueror, who scales to Tamari. Like a live Saucery. Yes, a live saucer. Yeah, it's obvious that that like that that saucer or that conqueror doesn't scale to this conqueror. Why? We, we said that Did all he train? three. Of this, oh my gosh! No, I never said all three. I said Gara. And then if they are relative, right? It would be. Oh my gosh! Facts, facts, facts. So. <sighs> If they are all relative, right? If Saucery, or if Conqueror is relative to like a later Gara, right? Mm -hmm. That would just, uh, I, I've set up multiple lines of scaling for why that can't be so, right? That in a live Saucery is like on par with uh, um, the third Kazekage who would get dookied on by War Art Gara. So I've stated, uh, I've set up that and then I've set up why like um, the Edos are closely relative to their alive state, to which you had no contention, right? And then Conqueror scales above the Edo, so or speed blitzes the Edo entirely. So we would say that he could probably contest, if not be, or not contest, he would be significantly greater in speed than the alive version of Saucery. I'm I'm done with this debate going on for as long as it has on meaningless okay. points. Let's just right? go to so, attire. No, 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 no. So, okay. so I'm going to and definitively say now there is no speed scaling for Saucery. That puts him near Tamari. Seeing as Tamari would be equal to the Gara, who would have to be like more than a full Shikaku amp below himself in order to be like on par with um with even like the third Kazekage or or Saucery who would like scale relative, right? So we can go into AP. I'm just gonna drop this, right? So uh, are you aware of like um of this scan and what it, what it says whenever mis like translated? Actually, I'm not even gonna like waste time and ask her you where I'm just. Are you to... gonna say blow away the universe thing? No, I'm not. Okay, so okay. universe is actually a mistranslation, um, in this context for the kanji of Sakai, right? Um. Yeah, for the kanji of Sakai, right? So it means the world or universe. So I'm going to say Tamari was able to blow the world away, right? Because that'd be oh much more meaningful. Do you know what and a the, hyper the support, wait, is? And the support, the supporting evidence for that. Would be Tamari being a part of a Jutsu, right? Because Tamari... Okay, quit spamming chat. Excuse me. Tamari was like... um. Do you recall whenever it was stated that Tamari was like... Whenever they were facing the third Kazekage or Raikage and they weren't doing well, Tamari's like, I don't know what we're going to do. We don't have any wind style user in the line stronger than me. Okay. Um, okay. And then so, Naruto came and yes, said. And then Naruto came, right? So then, mm -hmm. right, what I'm saying is that seeing as Tamari is like the strongest of the wind style users, and they were able to like launch a jutsu that was able to ne adversely affect the third Kazekage. In fact, it even does war um, it like has worse effects on him than what um than what the Ross and Shuriken actually does, right? It, it cuts him up more than the Ross and Shuriken. Did the boss of Shuriken literally messed up his body. It shriveled him up and stuff. Let me just get the scan for you. Okay, yes, I think please. I have it already. Um, where is it? Uh, there it is. Um, at the top left.
How is that shriveled up? Yeah, he's like skin. Look, um, yeah, okay, the, bad wording the, the then. It just the messed him up. Is like, yeah. I don't, okay. it doesn't. What? Okay. Do you want to like, do you want to go to the anime for clarification? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I think I already sent a video of the fight. Let's see. Yeah, I think you did. And like, it's not impressive. Uh, what the Ross and Shuriken does. But we'll look for comparison, for direct comparison, right? Okay. So what Tamari does to him, right? Cuts open his shoulder, right? Just gashes open his shoulder. And this is after the Edo Tensei has had time to, like, heal itself in the entire dust cloud. Uh, do you agree with what I've stated thus far? That Tamari hurt him? I mean, she okay. had that other wind values just helping. Wait, I claim specifically that the combination jutsu of Tamari and the others gashed open his shoulder. Mm -hmm. And this is what we see after he has had time to regenerate partially. Do you agree what with the claims see? that I've made? What do we see after his yes, he's um, had time? Okay, Let then his see. shoulder is gashed open. Um... Hold on, I'm looking. Yeah, it is, okay. Okay, so you agree with that. Then let's go to what the Ross and Shuriken does. He dodges the Ross and Shuriken. He gets hoop and holla alley-ooped from behind. Is this the one where the Raikage dodges it? Yeah. Can you can you give me the timestamp in your videos where the Raikage gets hit by the Ross and Shuriken from the specs? Um, let's see. Oh, never mind. He gets hit, like, right afterwards. Okay, your video doesn't show the Raikage getting hit. It does. No, oh, oh so... it shows him on the ground, right? <laughs> when the Raikage mm -hmm. is on the ground, there's no damage to him. What? And the manga shows something different. What? Uh, okay. The manga doesn't show anything. It's completely unclear. There's no damage that can be garnered from what's happening. All that we oh see is God. some of the paper of the Edo Tensei clear. Jutsu. Okay. Is this not damage? What? What you posted? Yeah. No, it's there's, just hard there's to see. no oh. damage that can be immediately shown. No, what? Yep. Oh my god. I'm claiming that this is just a paper of the Edo Tensei coming back onto his body. So that would just be like surface level cuts. Well, tomorrow if it, so you're saying the that's shoulder. the paper? That's the paper of um the Edo Tensei, but then he regenerates and cuts it. So how's the... They're not, did I say paper of the Edo Tensei? The ceiling I'm um, not saying it's the ceiling paper. jutsu. That's okay. called ceiling jutsu. I'm saying that is the paper of the Edo Tensei returning to his body because there were tons of surface level cuts from the Ross and Shuriken, right? That's my claim. Okay. So you're saying because it cut him more, that means it's stronger? Yeah. Just because, okay, so just because it has more cuts doesn't mean it's stronger. No, you can just argue that. It cut deeper oh into God. his skin, which is a better feat. Because it stated that, like, the Rikage skin is so hard that only he can cut it. Well, so, in fact, cutting for deeper that into statement, this skin, isn't even... Pretty sure cutting, this is... Hold on. Cutting deeper into his skin would be more impressive. Okay, let's see. Didn't we already talk about this? I think no. you steel man. Yeah, where you brought it up for speed. And then I said he let them hit him. We literally argued about whether or not he let them hit him, right? And that yeah, wouldn't even matter. No, no, that wouldn't matter because it's still an AP feat, right? Whether or not he lets if them he let it, him no, hit him, no, no, why would he be on guard? Listen to me. Whether or not the oh damage, the damage that he lets, or the damage that is done is not contingent on whether or not he let them do it, right? At all. Yes, it does. He, he can... doesn't... Okay, how do I put this? Um, You know how... I'm not saying he was off guard. I'm just giving you an example. 
where if someone's off guard, do you think an attack would do more damage than when they were they were off the guard? Well, not when you have like genetic skin that's so hard as if they're Ikage. Or as the Ikage. That doesn't change anything. Yes, it would. Because his skin is hard regardless of chakra. Oh my god. That doesn't change anything. Yes, it does. You I can still be off why. guard. Okay, facts. You can continue oh to repeat the same premise, right? But I'm saying that it's the Raikage's bare skin that gives him the durability that he has. And okay, thus, and I'm wait, showing wait, no, you. No, you're going to listen yeah. to me finish, right? Because you're not understanding my argument, so I'm going to ask you to listen to me instead of continuing to try and respond, right? Due to the fact that it's the Raikage's bare skin that has such durability, not a chakra amped or like a, a chakra like... Uh, chakra cloak, anything of the like. The cuts on his bare skin or into his body would be how we dictate the um, the strength of the attack unto him. And thus, the wind-style casting net is stronger than the Rasen Shuriken due to the Rasen Shuriken having more surface-level attacks and or, um, more surface-level cuts into the Raikage's body than the wind-style casting net. Hold on. Do you have a recognition they... of Yes, they hurt a base Raikage while the while um okay, Raikage already had the, his cloak no, wait, up. Can you prove that the lightning cloak works on a cellular level? Um works on a cellular level? Yeah. What do you mean by that? The Raikage, Are you the, gonna the, bring up the The Ross and Shuriken attacks on a cellular level. Mm -hmm. So unless the durability of the lightning cloak is on a cellular level, it would cut right through. So I'm asking you to prove that the Raikage's lightning cloak works on a cellular level. Oh my god. Sure, I guess. Actually, the Raikage already has a little level, or it works without the lightning cloak. He doesn't need it, actually. You know, he was able to okay, do or I'm take the light about transfer the lightning jutsu. Cloak specifically. Okay, I just told you why it doesn't matter. He already had the light transfer jutsu. He tanks it, which um does the same thing pretty much, and wait, wait, transports wait, 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 you wait, 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 a cellular level. So, are you saying that the the fourth Raikage skin works on a cellular level? Or are you trying um, to say the lightning cloak is sure. the fourth I need to read the chapter where they yeah. moved, or they um, okay. Cause talk I can, about like, it. I can say that it's a skin. That wouldn't matter. That wouldn't help you. Uh, but I'm going to save you the hassle, right? It's his lightning cloak, right? So I'm asking you okay. to... Then I'm going to ask you to prove that the lightning cloak used by the fourth Raikage is similar in durability, or the level of durability is the, the one used by the third. Sure. Okay. That's fine. I'll get the scan for you. Um, Raikage can already tank that without the lightning cloak, the third Raikage. Um, what that's why the Rossan Shuriken didn't work. That's why the Rossan Shuriken didn't work, because, because he already had, um, that level of durability. On his skin? Er, yeah. Okay. The third Raikage? So then, okay, if he had that level of durability on his skin... <laughs> then the then the wind style casting net is okay. Does juicy. how does the Ross and Shirk work? Okay. Hold on. Thank you for I conceding to... to my claim. Facts. How am I conceding? What okay. which claim? Facts, which claim? Facts. Which claim? I claimed that due to the fact that the Raikage has cellular level durability on his skin, mm -hmm. that it makes the uh, like um that it's not just the cellular level cutting power of the Ross and Shuriken, right? That it was mm -hmm. the the Ross and Shuriken just is of lower quality of a jutsu. It is not as powerful. And I'm asking and you just how the Rossan Shuriken works. Okay. I'm at, and I said he tanked it because of his um cellular cellular level durability, right? But I'm asking, um, how does the Rossan Shuriken like? Because I I don't remember that well. Does it actually do damage on a to the bot? Level? Like 
No, on the outside of the body, like cutting power, pretty much. Oh, I'm nice. looking at okay. it right now. Okay, there's literally a, the scan where Tsunade explains the Ross and Shuriken. You literally see like tiny little wind blades cutting Kakazu's cells. Hold on. Yeah, okay, that's. I'm asking for. I don't think you understood the question. I'm just gonna look at this fight okay, to see how it ask works. Ask the question again. I'm. I'm already finding the answer. I'm looking at the scan right now. Um. Let's see. Oh my god. Hmm. Facts, facts. I'm going to ask you this question one more time so that we can stop debating this trivial subpoint and that you can concede, all right? So, did the wind style casting net have more of a visual effect on the Raikage? Yes, visual. But, okay, okay. Yeah, it had more of a visual effect. Okay. Right? Why sure. did it have more of a visual effect? Because, and I'm trying to, I'm saying that the um, Ross and Shuriken works differently. It's not supposed to have cutting power. That's okay. the point. You understand that the Ross and Shuriken has a level of force, correct? Um, what do you mean by that? That it explodes. Um, the, sure, yeah. Okay, you also understand that the Ross and Shuriken in, in its variants have been shown to cut things. Like uh, that's what I'm trying to find. Can you show me that? That's tree. what I've been trying to find. Can I see the scan? Okay. I don't... Okay. I actually don't remember that. Just Naruto scan. cutting down the god tree? Yes, I'll just look for it. No, it's fine. I'm looking for it right now. Check around Check around you chapter know, 657. I, I literally already found it. Uh, Alright. It's one of the, like... It's one of the most... like one, Probably one of the coolest feats in the entire series. There, I just posted it. That's the effect of like um Naruto's Ross and Shirk in the moment he enters six past stage one. I'll get the entire scan. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. okay. So then the Ross and Shuriken has a level of cutting power. Hold on. Wait. This is six paths, Naruto? Yes, but why would the Ross and Shuriken functionally change? Oh um, no, because I'm pretty sure like they he had a different version of it with some other two. I said beast the Ross chakra. and Shuriken and its variants, yes. Um, just because he adds a which nature Ross release. Which okay. This was Lava Style. Why would adding okay. of a nature release change the very, like, structure of the Ross and Shuriken and make it to where it no longer, or it, it now cuts things? Because, um, I look at the scan where it looks like it burnt the tree. Whatever, whatever. I'll just say Tamari's, um, has more cutting power, sure. Uh -oh. Then Naruto's Ross and Shuriken. Whatever. Uh, okay, so then it's stronger than the Ross and Shuriken. Um, somewhat, yeah. Okay. Depends. So then Tamari scales to the Ross and Shuriken. Uh, sure. Okay, so then Tamari scales to large planetary, as the statement says. T large so planetary she because she scales to Ross and Shuriken? Oh my god. Uh, this was an entire sub point, right? This was all d regarding whether the supplementary evidence of, like, uh, having a ne serious negligible effect on okay. the Rikage would support the idea of her blowing the entire world away, right? So in in the very, like, uh, in wrapping up the sub point and saying she scales with the Ross and Shuriken, which would be planetary for, like, taking on Kuruma, right? Um, uh, therefore, we would say that, like, um, her statement of, like, being able to blow the entire world away, as stated by the data book, w would be, like, um, one that is not hyperbolic. That's the entirety of what was being debated here. Hello? Can anyone else hear me, or is it just faxed? I can hear you. This debate has gone on much longer than it needs to. Alright, there you go. Okay. There you go. Faxed. Okay. Faxed. So, in one. So faxed. I will repeat it again, right? This was a sub point mm -hmm. of supporting evidence to the statement that Tamari can blow the entire world away, right? Okay. So yeah. said it would be a planetary to large planetary feat. And then for supporting evidence to say that she could do it, I simply used, okay, well, she was able to affect the Raikage and the Ross and Shuriken couldn't. 
or she was able to affect it like in a way more so than the Ross and Shuriken could, and the Ross and Shuriken should scale the planetary. And you were like, oh wait, she didn't affect the Raikage as much as the Ross and Shuriken, or you went into the like details of the Raikage feat, right? So in conceding that point, or in saying, yeah, like, yeah, I agree, right? You then have a large planetary Tamari who speed blitz a sorcery. So the debate is over. You can concede now. No, not really. Okay. Um, planetary. I can scale sorceries AP higher. Higher than large planetary. Higher than Tamari. Yeah. Okay. Based off of what? All right. So let me find the video. Are you aware that like of Tamari trying to blow away? Madara, but it did no damage to him That's at filler. all. Okay, well, it's just adding to the scene. Why can't no, it's I use filler. it? Okay, because it adds why scaling can't I use that it? isn't present, right? It adds and... scaling. That, wait, it adds scaling that isn't present, right? And therefore, mm -hmm. it, it would be like it could therefore contradict other lines of scaling that are purely canon, right? Or K canon, Kishimoto canon, manga canon, data book canon. What right? does it contradict? It would contra. Okay. So you would either say that, okay, Edo Madara, or actually, I'll just, like, steal man. You say Edo Madara has, like, planetary durability. Okay, alright, so... Yeah, and then she just blows him away. Blows... Mm, sorcery away? No. Uh, oh, no. Tamari I'm talking about Madara damage. Away. How much damage it does. Oh. It does no damage, that's the point. Well, I mean, it... it okay, so... It, that was specifically just like a gust of wind. It, it wasn't an attack that has been shown to like um, her simply opening and like blowing her fan at someone wasn't an attack that's or isn't an attack that's been shown to do like serious cutting damage, right? But that's what this data book scan is talking about. What? What? She can Hold blow on, the, the entire yeah. Away? Yeah. Okay, what the? So then, if she can do something, and we've confirmed that she can do it. And then she opens up her fan and, and mm -hmm. tries to and blows someone away, but not the entire world. The conclusion is therefore that she is not going full power. Hold on. Just because she doesn't blow Do the whole world away. Do you want me to put it into away? a syllogism fact? Mm, sure, why not? Okay. P1. And this is a proposition of its own, but it's been proven, right? Tamari can blow away the world or planet in this case p2 tamari blew away madara and not much else conclusion <laughs> right and this is through like um this is through a line of deductive reasoning right because we know Tamari can do this. We know Tamari didn't do this in this case. A and it's been affirmed that she can through multiple lines. So the conclusion is, therefore, she is holding back against Madara. Where's facts? Facts, you're there. Never mind. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay, now I'm confused. Hold on. So you're saying Tamari's always holding back by that logic? Yeah, that's fine. Mm. I don't see why she would, and it makes no it sense for matter. her to always hold back during war. Okay, putting it putting makes your no mindset, sense. It would just... right? Putting your mindset into that of the character. Uh, no. I, I literally said that she wasn't I'm holding saying back against Tamari... Raikage. What? She's not so always she... holding back. What? She didn't hold back against Raikage. She, she helped. So right? you're... She she helped this team jutsu that had a form of cutting power and it cut right through the Raikage. Okay, so then my moderate thing would still work. She didn't blow away the unit. Hold on, I'm not understanding you. Oh my gosh, I'm really confused right now. Tamari can blow away. There planet. are two variables. Primus dude, Tamari blew away moderate. Not jealous of conclusion. She's holding back. So because she didn't blow away plant or much else. She's holding back, right? Is that what you're saying? Yes. That's what your syllogism says. Yes. Okay, so she didn't do that against Raikage. 
Well, no, that was a so is she attack. holding back? A, okay, that was a cutting attack, not an attack that was supposed to blow something away, right? Hmm. So then, how would that support the blow away the um planet thing? If it's how a cutting support? attack and not blowing away the okay, universe, okay? Because it would mean that she has Earth. AP relative to relative we went to over this. relative to planetary the, um, blowing planetary. attack. Oh my god. Facts. Oh we have gone over this multiple times. You were going in circles. No, you have I'm no not. I'm not no, understanding no, no. you. You have no. no offense, and I will explain it one more time oh. for you. Right. So Tamari is stated to be able to blow away the entire planet. I said that this would be a planetary, a large planetary feat, and then the backing up and saying another planetary to large planetary feat she has is um, being a part of a group that has more effect on the Raikage than the Ross and Shuriken did when the Ross and Shuriken had significant effect on the Nine Tails, who is planetary. Therefore, the Raikage's durability is planetary, and she scales above that. So I'm not saying that in, blow okay. her, in her attack against the Raikage, she should have blown away the entire planet. Alright, um, what are they going to say? Yeah, you, have, you never the, showed the me why that backing up would be planetary anyways. You never showed it. You never why showed your what? Raikage thing would be planetary. I literally made all these premises, right? And then you latched onto one, right? Without acknowledging any of the other ones. Okay, hold on. You know, like, refusal Let me to, like, ask, wait, how does wait, KCM1 you know, Naruto... To... No, let wait, me finish. No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. Oh my God. You know, refusal to refute is a concession. You understand that, right? I'm trying to add, but you're, like, saying I'm not. So let me finish. Okay, how does KCM1 Naruto, Ross and Shuriken, how is that planetary? How does okay. that back up Do your you blow away the of planet? Is? Can you answer the question? Okay, I'm saying you conceded at this point to the burden of rejoinder before. Therefore, how? I do. Okay, that, that's why I was asking you what the burden. Do you know what the burden of rejoinder is? Right? Um, I think I do, but explain okay. it. Just in failure. Case you're wrong. Okay, whenever I make an argument, failure to attack the argument or refute okay, the yeah, argument yes. in any meaningful way okay. is a concession. Um, I didn't even concede. I've, I just okay. asked questions oh on how the no. I asked how the Ross and Shuriken I've works. I made the claim three times, and then back. you answered. I okay, I made it three times, and you finally have contention when you're losing. You conceded it to no. the burden of rejoinder. How? How did I concede it? Oh my god! I literally just told you multiple times failure to provide relative relevant argument. When and I did. Made. No, no, I did. did. I told you that I made yes, the claim I did. three times before, and you just now have a problem. You have conceded the point. No, of I asked joinder. you how is that I'm um, going to planetary, ask the judge to and you in. just move, try to move on. Okay, this is the third time that I've claimed it, and you finally had contention. That's the problem. So I'm no, asking, I asked you the judge, question, and you, you never answered. In. Did you ever, ever hear him have contention or step in whenever I said that the Ross and Shuriken was planetary? The two other times that I've stated it throughout this debate. Uh, no, I didn't hear it before. He just tried it now recently. Why? Well, but not beforehand. Hello? No, that's perfect. Thank you, Jaja. All right. Okay, I'm just gonna move on from eight. Oh, let me get to my scaling. We were talking about moderate. You said she was holding back because she didn't blow away. Yeah, hey, can you please get into soft streets? Uh, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that. That's what we're talking about. Alright. I'll just go to hacks because I don't want to bother with AP. Um, how do you think Tamari's going to hurt Saucery? Or how do you think she's going to... What do you think she's going to use on him, pretty much? Casting net, because it would hit his, like, his hit his weak point. Um, one, how does she have knowledge on it? And two, is Wait, it in character you know for her? Like, okay, you know Saucery's like an s rank criminal that's in the bingo book of the Red Sand, right? Okay. So then, so then Shinobi of the village which he comes from know of him. In fact, Conqueror knows who they he is. They didn't even know oh, he wait, was wait, a wait, puppet. Wait, wait, wait. No, in fact, Conqueror knows who he is beforehand, right? And Conqueror literally has Saucery's puppet. So yes, she would have knowledge on Saucery's body. And she would have knowledge on the puppet's abilities. Oh, wait. Uh, I think, hold on. I'm going to check something. We said that they were going to have knowledge, right? Did we? Mm -hmm. 
did we say they were going to have knowledge about okay, each other? Okay, let's go over standard battle assumptions. Um, yeah, I'm reading it right now. There's nothing talking about it. I guess I can go to versus battle wiki. Yeah, I'll go to it right now. The fighters will have absolutely no prior knowledge of each other. That's fine. Should we just use casting net in character? It'd be irrelevant. Is it in character? Yeah. And show me her using it. Yeah, character. you've already seen it against the Rikage. Once. That doesn't mean it's in character. Well, yeah, it's the only character we have for Tamari. What other attacks what do you does she mean? do? There's a... What other fight does she have? Like, what other fight does she have in the war arc? Okay. So that it's you can't in character. Use stuff before that. <laughs> no. And she does be, have fights I'm in the war. I'm using war arc tomorrow. What? I'm using war tomorrow. War, okay. War arc tomorrow's like uh, whatever she knows of her like enemy, right? She throws out casting net. So she would do that in character against sorcery, and she would just by happenstance hit his heart. That's the worst part. Okay. Let me. Clarify this. You said it's in character for her to use it in the war, arc, right? Yes. All right. And uh, you said because she doesn't have any other fights. I think she does. Okay, sure. Um, I. You said that the modern feat isn't canon. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Why would it by happen hit Saucery's heart? Okay, let's go over that. Yep. So you know, Saucery's heart is like where a normal human heart is, right? Um, I think it is. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, it's on his left. Ch it's on his like left chest. Do you know, like, so the the casting net specifically went in on the right side of the Raikage's chest and cut all the way across his chest. It would absolutely obliterate Saucery's heart based off of where it's standing. Okay. Or where this. I is. argue. Um, he'd switch consciousness between puppets. He gets completely and utterly get... speed blitzed. He wouldn't have time. Hmm. I mean, he doesn't immediately die, though. That's the thing. Whenever his heart is he destroyed? He can still leave for a sec- You can live for a few seconds, yeah. Okay, and he'd switch fine, right? bodies by then. Because then you could just say, like, oh, she would just use a sorted other wind jutsu, or whenever she sees things coming, she would just, like, she would just get tired of him and blow him away. All the way out, all the way out to space. She'd just go for to it. To space? Big kahuna, Yeah. Wait, but you're saying what it's in character for her to only use... Hold on, hold on. Um, So you're saying when she keeps... When she sees him... Okay. okay here's when she claiming. sees him let me, let me switching just... puppets, okay. she's going to blow them all asking away. asking me what my claim is, why don't you just let me say it, right? Because of the fact that Tamari has one in-character attack... And mm -hmm. we know that she is a shinobi who adapts to what she is doing in the fight which she is in, right? She doesn't repeatedly use the same attack trying to get different results. She would adapt and therefore use the rest of her arsenal, which would inevitably include blowing away sorcery and every last um, puppet he has. Okay. okay, I'd argue he'd um, catch her off guard by them switching puppets like no, she's gonna she's think he's dead the first time no look let me finish she's gonna think he's dead when her when his puppet's inanimate 
going off guard. Then he'll catch off guard like he did to Sasori and Chiyo in fact, when they thought the he was dead Raikage, and stab like, her. Yeah, during the fight with the Raikage, whenever she thinks that the Raikage is like done for, she still does not approach or like um like let her guard down. She continues to stay there Can and I look see at that? the dust. You already posted it. Oh, okay. Uh, Whenever she like, uses it? the gust on the Raikage, it? she continues to stand there and look at the dust, right? Where is and it? And even in the manga. What? Um, Yeah, let me get the timestamp. Uh, in the video, I thought you yeah, meant like a manga scan. Even in the manga, she continues to look at the area from which he is. She doesn't let her guard down. It's taking a little to load. Hold on. Actually, I'll completely steal Manny, right? I'll say that, woohoo, like, Saucery catches her lock in, right? She still would be so fast that she would be able to react to anything that he has. And we know that she can sense Chakra into the She's fight. off guard we and know, catch someone from behind her. No, stack. we know that she can sense Chakra. So she would have the ability to sense what he's about to do and then get out of the way because she is, like, demonstrably faster than him. She's going to... That's what he's gonna do. Can you show me that? Hmm? I so said she gonna, can sense can chakra. Show? So he, she would sense yeah, the chakra that building and then, like, run away. She she show me her sensing chakra. Uh, okay, she literally does it as Naruto's building the Ross and Shuriken. She's like, that wind, she, I can sense the wind style chakra. Can you send... Okay, is I'll it in the video? You, it's in the video that you sent, yes. Okay, um... Let me let me get the exact point in time where she says it. Oh my gosh, this is cut. All right. We can go to the actual fight. What um, episode is this? I'll just go to it on Viz and screen record it myself. Uh, oh, is it not in the manga? Hmm. I'm is it not in the manga? It? Oh, I don't know. I, I can go back and oh, look. Just if look you in like. the manga. Oh, that's. Fine. I'm already on the chapter. Uh. Oh, wait. I don't know which one's... Is this it? I think it's it. Oh, no. It's the chapter before this. Mm. Is it? Hold on. Mm. Oh, no. It is this chapter. Okay. Um. What chapter is it? 553. Holy fuck. Why is it? Hmm. Is it? Now I'm confused. He jumps down to the battlefield. Tamari doesn't say anything. What point are you guys on right now? Well, we're on the point of whether or not Tamari can sense Chakra. Uh. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm very sure she Kage... states that she can sense Chakra. What's the relevance? Okay, because if she can sense Chakra, then s whenever Saucery tries to, like, blindside her, um, she would just, like, react to it. Well, Sp Spencer, don't you think you speed with the other characters? It's really necessary. No, I do. I've said that multiple times. Uh, but he's well. trying to say that, oh, after death, she would, like, um... Yeah, she says that it feels like wind-style jutsu. Is it a new Rasengan? It just might work. I got the scan. Can you see the scan? Yeah, I sent it. I'm not going to finish talking to Jaja. Oh. That's crazy. No, it's That fine. feels like a wind style jutsu. Where is it? No, I posted it. No, but like what point it's in the, the fight? It's the beginning Where? of 554. Whenever he uses the Rasen Shuriken for the first time and he misses. Okay, so she can feel chakra. Okay, so then she would um, feel the chakra welling up inside of Saucery, and she wouldn't approach him, A, or she would have the ability to sense what he's, like, what he's going for, and, like, literally just leave. What do you mean, leave? You said, you gave me like, reaction I meant leave speed. The okay, oh. no, no, leave the area in which he's about to attack, right? She could start flying Is on her Is her travel family. speed that good? What's her travel okay. speed? Her reaction speed would be fast enough where she can get out of the way. Okay, so she's or gonna her react. Her attack speed dodge. would be fast enough where she could parry or counter. 
then sorcery will keep um will switch out right and i've told you that eventually this will mm -hmm. lead to a point okay where Tamari blows no him in i know space. okay no, so then you lose the i'm gonna say she's no i'm gonna say that she's gonna she's not gonna be or she's not gonna be able to do it in time in time what does that mean or he's gonna kill her before she even with what like she, after a period of time every one of his attacks poison. is so slow that she could literally run around him in the time she won, you. you have completely and what utterly lost this debate and i refuse to continue any further we will go to judgment uh, i want to keep going no i want to keep going we've been this at this for two because hours there's... no because i have more to bring to concede let's see let me get this scan any of your win conditions, she's significantly faster than to the point where they will never touch that her. That doesn't mean it nags win conditions. Okay, what is your win condition? I'm saying that gonna, he's gonna keep catching her off guard. Okay, he's gonna she, actually no, at this point he's just gonna get her. You. No, she's gonna get her with number. He's gonna get her with numbers. No, she will literally blow away each and every one of them. What is wrong? I'm with show. You? Oh my god, she's I'm showing you. Stronger and demonstrably oh faster to the point where this and is I'm not saying, a matchup. No, I'm, going to I'm trying to concession. show you what she's going to do. Let me finish. Bring up your win conditions. This will be your closing I'm statement. I just told Bring you. Bring up your win conditions. The winning number. He's going to get her with numbers, right? She and I don't away. think it's in character for him to blow away after the third time, right? She doesn't. She's not shown to do anything like this. So he's just going to get her off guard while she keeps trying to hit him. And then, she and then he's gonna the take, bring his numbers. Like he's gonna bring numbers or hit her with more. Okay, well, like, okay, hundred puppets. No, no, let's go into this. Hundred puppets. Because people of, do you think that Sakura has like some um relative uh, speed to sorcery in their fight? Um, in that fight, I, not really. I'm not. Okay, I'm not, do you think I don't she remember has how the fight speed? went? I think she was. She should, yeah. She okay, was, so she that only even people of lesser speed was... can like navigate through his numbers. What? Oh, are you talking about the hundred puppets? Yes. Oh, I thought you were talking about third cause Kage. Uh, hundred puppets. Let me read this. Fact no, no, please Take don't. Take a look at For it. For the love of God, literally, actually, Jaja, with the evidence that we've said, yeah. I'm gonna let him say all of his win conditions, and I'm just gonna go. Okay, poison, um, hundred puppets, all his kunai attacks, and numbers. That's um. Let's see if there's anything else. Um, third kaze kage, more I'll, poison. I'll, I'll give it to mm. you, like iron, iron sand, right? Oh my god. Yes, I'm just bring. You said bring up all your wind conditions. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm like giving them to you at this point. Like, say Hold more on. of them. I'm just gonna give. One general broad refutation, right? In my closing statement. Microscope. Sand. Hmm? I'm showing you all the one condition. One conditions. Um, microscopic sand, which you shouldn't yeah, yeah, even yeah. be able to okay. see. So I'll say that she wouldn't be able... That's the only one that I've, like, actually been waiting for, right? Uh, this will be the only one that I dignify with its own refute. Because I will say that while she wouldn't be able to see said microscopic and penetrating sand, that she would be able to sense the chakra and thus would blow it away. That's the only one I'm going to dignify with her feet. Mm, right. She's going to sense ones... the chakra and blow it away. Yes. Um, hold on. Something. I don't know. I don't know if this is how it works, but isn't like less chakra harder to sense than like a massive amount of chakra? Right? What? Yeah. If someone has less chakra, wouldn't no, it be harder I'm to sense than theory. massive amounts of chakra? Uh, uh, oh, okay. I'm confused on what you're yeah. claiming and what you're asking. No, I'm saying, I'm I asking like if. A, like a okay, let's say. Um, who has. Who has um, a little bit of. Let's say some Genin, right? Yes. Um, and the ten tails. Would it be hard? Wouldn't it be harder to sense the genin than the ten tails? Oh, right. I mean, larger amounts of chakra, yes, would be easier to sense. But I don't think that matters. Whenever okay. A... Wait, wait. I, I was, I was continuing. Right. I don't think that mm -hmm. matters when he's filling the air with microscopic little daggers of sand to the point where they can visibly be seen on panel. 
he literally groups microscopic pieces, right? It's not mm-hmm. microscopic in nature, so she would be able to see it. She literally, if okay. he decided to disperse them into their microscopic pieces, she would not. But it's obvious that he is able, he like groups them for some reason, right? So she would not only be mm-hmm. able to sense the yeah. chakra, but she would also be able to see it. Mm. Huh? All right. Dodge. 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 Alright, um, you know about the, mm-hmm. oh, my bad. <laughs> the iron sandstorm thing, where he sends, like, you know, the line, or, how iron do I put stand, this? Uh, iron storm, st- sand world order, yes, where he sends yeah, a ball, that. and then he, de- like, magnetizes no. the ball, and it sends out, like, crazy? Oh, yeah, that, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Mm, what about that? Okay, What's she literally, gonna do? okay, she literally watches it come like it's coming in slow motion. It avoids each and every piece of it. Mm, I don't know if that's how it works. I'm pretty sure, like, even if, like, the gap is too small, if you understand. That's the point. What, the or, gap is too small in to Iron Sand World Order? Are, yeah, are you I'm aware trying that to, you launched that attack on, like, um, on Sa- Soccer and Chiyo? Mm-hmm. Okay. And it hit them, yeah. It didn't hit both of them. Uh, I don't even think. S- yeah, I think. Let me see. Um, I guess she was already in a in, wall in fact, or fact, outside the of the cousin, range. Wait, so the I third guess. Third cousin Kage puppet is actually able to navigate within it, right? He's able to fly around yeah, within that's it. That's true. So, so obviously, there's an amount of space where it can be dodged. Okay, continue. Next one. Mm, okay, I'm gonna argue. He's gonna switch places with Third Kaze Kage. We know that Third Kaze Kage can just fly, fly up, and start hitting her with other um sand attacks. She would literally like, dodge filling the battlefield every, with she hands. Would dodge each and every one of those sand attacks because. And I'm so gonna de- say, de- launch. Wait, no, you're gonna listen to the rest of my claim, right? Because she is so demonstrably fast or above him. That she could see them all coming like they're in slow motion. Give me one. One win condition that you have. That does not instantly get negged okay. by Tamari's speed, please. Please. Um, We've been like going you cut out for a long hours. time. Okay, I you repeat myself. She fucking dodges it. Uh, we have been going okay. round and round. Round and round, right? About and I'm these saying wind that he's... Whoa, wait, whoa, whoa. About these win conditions... When each and every one of them is, like, easily shown to just be, okay, well, she speed blitzes. Okay, well, she dodges with superior speed. So I'm going to ask you for one win condition that you have that is not reliant or cannot be easily countered with me saying speed. All right, let me get it for you then. Alright, um, I'm just gonna concede. Can you hear me? I am so fucking pissed. Faxed. You did great hanging on there, buddy. Don't ever do that again. Jaja, what was your opinion on the debate? 